Alright guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all having a good uh Tuesday Tuesday afternoon. Um Yeah, um just started raining here. It's been raining a lot lately around here. Um not the best weather, but so we we moan when it's too hot and we moan when it rains, so it's um Swings in roundabouts kind of thing, um, but yeah, um, I pr I prefer it to be cooler myself. I don't like the hot weather, but most people do like the hot weather. But I'm not a big fan. Um, don't like it necessarily raining either, but just a cool day. Like um, I like a, I like well like wind. I like the wind blowing on my skin. Do you know what I mean? That's what I like. Um, and coolness <laughs> that's what i like i'm the sort of person um i'll always look to find the cold spot on the bed <laughs> the cold uh the cold bit of the sheets or the cold uh cold side of the pillow kind of thing um especially on a hot day so yeah um but yeah guys i just went i've, I've had a haircut uh, looking a bit, looking fresh again, freshish anyway, fresher than I did do. Um, yeah, um, probably should have had a number one at the back and sides, a bit long, but he, he's still done a brilliant job. He really did cut it well. Um, I'm pleased with it. Um, but yeah, I probably should have had it a bit shorter on the back and sides, but. That's my fault though for not asking for it. So, um, to be honest, he started off doing it a number two, um, what I asked for, and then I realised it was too long. So I said one and a half, and I should have said one really. So it's all my fault. <laughs> but um, I'll know next time to go for a number one. Um, but he's done a very good job still. He's cut it well. Um, Blended in well at the back and sides and stuff. I'm I'm very impressed. Like, um, yeah, I'm very impressed. So I will be going back there again, kind of thing. Um, but yeah. Um. Anyway, guys, I just want to do a quick scripture. Um. So I'm trying to sort of. Put God's word out there and give people some knowledge about the Bible and um, reinforce stuff for believers and to uh, open up people's minds to new to new things and uh, what else? Um, yeah, to just teach people about the Bible, basically, through doing scriptures and stuff. It's a big part of this channel. Um, like I said before, that's really what I want to do. I want to focus it mainly on scriptural stuff. But I will do some, as, as you know, I do other videos as well. So um, it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag, really. But I do want a lot of it to be scriptural. Um, but also some other videos as well. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway guys, let's just go over the scripture. It's um, Romans chapter 13. And it's a uh, submission to governing authorities. And it says, uh, let everyone be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers hold no terror for those who do right, but for those who do wrong, do you want to be free from fear of the one in authority? Then do what is right, and you will, and you will be commended. For the one in authority is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for rulers do not bear the sword for no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. 
Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also as a matter of conscience. This is also why you pay taxes, for the authorities are God's servants, who give their full time to governing. Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honour, then honour. Uh, then it's love fulfills the law. Let no debt remain outstanding. Accept the continuing debt to love one another. For whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder. You shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other command there may be, are summed up in this one command, love your neighbour as yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbour, therefore love is the fulfilment of the law. The day is near, and do this, understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber. Because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over, the day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armour of light. Let us behave decently as in the daytime, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and debauchery, not in dissension with je and jealousy. Rather clothe yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desires of the flesh. That's it guys, that's the scripture. Um I'll just do that one. I think I think I'll leave it at that. Um because I'm feeling a bit uh I'm not mega tired, but I just think I'll leave it at that for now. But um yeah, there's a scripture for you guys, submission to governing authorities. Love fulfills the law and the day is near. Chapter 13, Romans. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, oops, just through the, part, through the Bible. I'm always doing that. I need to uh, share a bit more reverence and not do that really. I don't think God would be very happy for me for doing that. I don't do it all. The, I don't do it on purpose. It's just sometimes I'm tired and I do it without thinking kind of thing. 